What do you guys think? Should I vein mine my platform? Oh, I think so. Let's do it. Gone. <laughs> Guys, Chokester here, bringing another episode of FTB Sky Factory 3. And we've been busy. We have been busy. We've been working on our googly eyes. Yep, we've almost got that perfected. All right, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I know. Uh, we have, oh my gosh, it looks like we've done a lot. It really isn't. Really isn't. Hang with me. Hang with me. Let me explain. First thing I did was replace the ground with chiseled cobblestone. Pretty easy. I made myself a very simple cobblestone generator here, right? And it's just, you know, make sure you have a hole going down, right? Just at least one level for the water to flow. And then just put one source block right next to it. That's it. It's very simple. Two for water, one for lava, and it creates a uh, cobblestone right in the middle. Very simple. Um, I have created my tinkers tables, right? That's pretty straightforward. You guys have seen that dozens and hundreds of times, so not a big deal. I just made a cactus broadsword. I leveled it up by by you know the mob mob farm over there. I'll show you that in a second. And I added one diamond. One diamond. I do have quite a bit of um, iron and stuff I've been sieving, uh, but I'm holding off, right? I'm I'm holding off to because I want a smelter. We're we're gonna do that today in this episode. Well, at least I'm going to do it. I know you've seen that as well. Um, let's see. I added a trash can, a bunch more chests. This is my loot stuff that I've been opening. I haven't opened too much, but I do have uh, slime boots, a palace crystal chest plate, some iron leggings, and that's about it, right? The the only other thing I got was. I got this mob masher, and I got a rain shield. That'll be fun. And I got an ender tether, which we'll see in a second. Uh, you've already seen this setup, uh, this crucible setup, not too, not too uh, um, special here. I do have a tank. We'll go over that in a second. I needed cactus for my sword, so I planted that. This is my old... Um, uh, you know where we spawn the chicken and I, I brought those guys over here Let me show you something pretty cool pretty cool is they've got this where to go there It is the animal net. Let me show you the recipe for the animal net animal net is just some string and sticks And it's so cool. It's so cool. It is the new lasso watch this Ching. Yay, you can just pick up mobs Oh, nice. Missed. There we go. And so I just picked them up from over there whenever they'd spawn and they'd wander around and I and I got some, some mobs. Very simple. Very simple. As you notice, up there on the top left, we're at day 375. Yesterday I was at 245 or something like that. I mean, it's just cranking along on the days. Not a big deal. So I've got a bunch of animals here and I've been coming over here and grabbing this stuff, right, which is chicken manure. And what can you make with chicken manure? Well, you can make fertilized dirt. Ah, just around a piece of any old dirt. So we're going to maybe upgrade our farm to that. All right, so let's go over here and take a look at what we've done in the mob farm. Now I started with a horizontal one, and so obviously now I have a bunch of uh, cobblestone and, and stone. I got some dire wolf bags, you know, and so that gives me stone. I can make these stone slabs really easily. I made a, um, a little access port up there, and every once in a while a mob will be able to get out and come down here, but it's not that big a deal. Um, so I have, uh, I, I started out with a horizontal one, right? And it was, it was okay. This is my second gen. I made the, the proverbial, you know, channels of water down here from each side, right? All four sides, all channel into here and dump them down in here. Now we do have vector plates from, from random things. All right. Or, uh, let's see, vector. We have the vector plates and I could have done those, but they required slime balls and I didn't have any slime balls at the time. So it was just a little bit hard to do that. And I said, waters were very, very simple. So I just come over here and I hit these guys a bunch of times and you know, they end up dying and I get the experience and, and you know, it levels up my sword and, and I don't even know what's going to come after expert level, but yeah, so that's really cool. And it all dumps down in here and I've kind of been emptying this out periodically and I grabbed some loot bags. Let's open up a couple of these. That'll be fun. That'll be very fun. Oh, that's the best. Not really. <laughs> Slingshot, there's no way. There's no way I'm using that. And a little bit of uh, silicon. All right, so that's pretty much it. Now let's go over this tank. Let me dump off some of this stuff here. And let's see, those guys, I gotta find a place for heads. I've been putting uh, putting my heads, um, you know, the, the Enderman head, those those came in a loot bag. I love that, that is so cool. Um, all right, so, oh, oh, we gotta do the mineral tree too. Okay, so this mineral leaf, it's it's a drop from sieving, all right? And you can see, we, I've got a bunch of them because I've been sieving. And so ultimately what it is, is this is just a standard tree, grows, responds to twerking. So let me go ahead and chop this down. 
and it has a couple of special blocks in here these these are kind of cool i mean they look nice right that's what the the planks look like they're okay and uh and when you break these down here this gives you multiple things it gives you these mineral berries okay which you can craft into torches and that's what these are these are mineral torches they look really cool i like them i like them so i've been using them but you know the other thing you can eat them and it gives you i'm not quick enough but it gives you a uh, night vision like about a second of night vision that's about it all right but when you break these guys here they give you these shards and these crystal mineral chunks right these are kind of cool they they create the the block and so on and there's there's uh, this whole integrated dynamics uh mod it's it's very much like i don't know it's kind of like a uh advanced redstone logic uh there's some programming associated with it it's it's um it's pretty cool it's pretty cool, but they also have a battery, and they have a. I'm looking for it. It's the generator. Let's do let's do integrated, integrated dynamics. They have this generator here, which is kind of cool. It uh, does I think 20 RF per tick, so it's nothing special, but it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. I just thought uh, thought you guys might like to read about that mod. Now let's take a look at this. This is get your tanks here or get ya tanks here. That is a modular tank, and you notice it holds 256 buckets. Well, that's because I upgraded it. So let's take a look at those tanks. I want another one. So we're going to take a look at the tank, and you make the first tank. I'm going to need some glass for sure, but I've got a couple of dire wolf things here. I mentioned that already, and let's make some of these first. So I'm going to just make 16 of these. That should be enough to upgrade those, and I'll just grab this, and let's see what else. We're going to need some wood. I actually, I think I might be able to use this mineral wood. Yeah, let's try that. Let's uh, let's do like that much. All right. So then let's go here, and if we can find one, is it or dictionary? No, it is not. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. We'll grab some regular wood then. Oh, not that one. Here it is. Let's grab. Yeah, let's grab these. All right. Let's try this again. Oh, and I need one bucket. One bucket. That's what I need. And I believe you get the bucket back. I believe you do. Let's see. That one? No, you don't. Not on here. Okay, so this is... Let's get rid of this here. So there's our bucket. It holds four. I mean, our tank. It holds four tanks. It does respond to buckets. Sorry, right. you can... Uh, if I were to take, let's say, lava and put it in there. Oh, that might not actually support lava. Let's try water. I think I can. There we go. Yeah, that one, because it's wood, doesn't support it. So you can take, take things in and out, which is cool. That's what we like. But you can also go up in tiers. So this this tank upgrade, we want to go to the next level, which is the which is the 16 buckets. Now beware, this is one of those things we've seen in our our unstable with with uh, mechanism that we have to now do, find the next one. So here you go. So there's the 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 tank upgrade, right? And we need some more glass and some cobble. So actually, do I have any cobble in my? I have some. That should be enough. All right. So let's look at our tank upgrade. We just have to go to the one here. And we'll grab that tank upgrade. We place it on here. And now it holds 16 buckets. But we can also do some iron. So let's grab, let's see, there should be five total. Wait, what is this, iron? Oh, this is quartz enriched iron. Stop it, stop it, stop it. I am there. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five. That looks so identical. That's the quartz enriched iron. Okay, not a problem. And let's grab one of these again. Let's go to the iron one. There it is. And then we upgrade that to iron. And the next one is, sorry, lapis. Let's grab, uh, there we go, five lapis. And that one's pretty simple. It doesn't really matter. Let's go all the way to the end and get the lapis one. And that holds 256 buckets. The last ones would be uh, right here. So it would be a block of emerald, a block, and a block of diamond and I want to say oops that's not what I wanted that's what I wanted right so it's not it's yeah it's only five okay so that's not too bad that's not too bad for 10 24 buckets but you know what frankly 256 is pretty good that's pretty good and so so far what I've been doing is I've got the liquid transfer notes now remember those are just like the, the item transfer notes but only instead of a chest in the recipe it's the bucket and so what I've been doing is five six seven eight and I just come over here no I already had two in my inventory and I just fill them up 
But yeah, that's not that's not as fun. That's not so much fun. So we'll do something about that. And of course, this guy's already filled up. 32 stacks. So yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, dump an inventory time. And we'll dump some more of these. And there's these crystals. So I'm getting uh, quite a few. Now you can also, you can also d um, crush these. So if we look at integrated, integrated, they have this here, which is a squeezer. And a drying basin. You put them side by side. I'm not going to make them because it requires a lot of uh, iron, but I have seen this in the past, and that one's not too bad. But it's the squeezer. Um, you, uh, I saw it on the uh, FTOG server, the Bond Three server, and uh, and so what you do is you put the wood in there, and you can squeeze them, and it makes whole blocks of this crystallized mineral chunk as it dries in the drying basin. So very, very, very cool. Very good stuff. Okay. Now, I am constantly having this achievement book stand in my inventory, or the achievement book, and I want to make an achievement book stand, right? So it's pretty straightforward. We just need some wood. And so all we have to do is chump, chump, and put this here. And we can now place it down so we can look at our achievements. I don't know. Maybe we'll put it right there. Yeah, there we go. Now we can go in here and look at our stuff. And so we have make a tinker's construct tool from bone or flint i did yay so we have officially completed that all right so on the stone age we have made a dark room we made a field of grass we haven't built a second layer we haven't made obsidian we haven't made tinker smelter so that's where we are so let's do that let's do a stone barrel all right oh let's grab some stone uh let's see we'll just grab those and oh and you know what i also have those yeah so we should only need one but you know what i think i'm gonna make two all right isn't this how the recipe is it sure is we're gonna make two and we're going to grab a bucket and i just so happen to have one with lava and let's go ahead and put this over here all right we'll put that right there and if i were to oh water source water source let's go over here let's grab that and if I were to, I don't, I, I got to worry about this here, right? So let's go ahead and, yeah, I could do it with this. I could do it with this. Yeah, let's do this. So we're going to do this and then this and then oh, get out of the way. Uh, I ran out, ran out. All right. So let's just grab a few more. I always like to have these in my inventory. They're just really nice. I like the look of them. So in theory, all I have to do is... Um, you know, I can do this and put water right here. Is that going to flow? Yeah, that'll flow good. And so what what that does is it gives me obsidian. And if I come over here and I grab a bucket of that and I put that in there and then right click again, I get obsidian. Let's do that one more time. There we go. I now have three obsidian. Pretty cool. What do I want this obsidian for? Well, I want to. I want to throw a party. I want to throw a party with a pickaxe. What does that do? Well, this is a super OP, super OP, super fast pickaxe. Right click for surprise, and it has mending on it. It does 13 attack damage. This does 7.9. 13 attack damage. Let's go check this out. This is insane. Okay. Excuse me. I might need a cake. That was right clicking, by the way. That's its surprise. Look at that. Now, one thing I don't have is the, yeah, so it's, yeah, it's not, I, so it's, it's okay. I mean, it still takes two hits, right? It does take three hits with my sword. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It looks like it's already enchanted, so I don't know if we can enchant again, but you know, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's kind of cool. It, uh, notice it's going through, it did use a lot of damage for that cake. So, um, or, or durability, I should say. So let's check the durability here. Yeah, so we have 1811. So let's just kill a few things and get the experience and see if we are net increase or net decrease. And one more. Okay, uh, so. Yeah, yeah, so we're net increase, which is good. So it uses quite a bit for the cake. So there, I'll, oh, I need a little more. Yeah, there you go. Uh, sometimes I get hungry for cake. So anyway, thought that was kind of fun. Okay, so I've got a bunch of um, sand here, right? This is, or dust, I should say. This is compressed dust. And so I want to go through here and 
There we go. That's much faster. All right, macro for the win. Okay, so we now have iron ore pieces, and I wanted to show you that if we have a compacting drawer, let's grab two of those, and I think I have, I think I have, I think I have. No, nope, hold on. I thought I had a basic drawer. There we go. Made a bunch of those at one point. So hopefully, oh, I'm missing one piece of iron. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Connected chest is killing me, right? Not having that. So i got to change my whole way of crafting. Everything has to be in my stupid inventory. Okay, so what I want to show you is if I were to put the ore pieces in there, it automatically compacts them, and I can get them out, and then I can just put them in there. And if I have any others, where's my other nickel? aluminum iron right I could put I could just put them in there and it will um, automatically collect them it's a quick way of doing it I know it doesn't save you a lot of time but it just helps it just helps it's a it's a cool trick um, all right so we've done the obsidian uh, we've got the lava tank we've got the party picks okay yeah 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 let's do the next thing what do I have let me dump dump this all right so let's grab a bucket let's grab a bucket and I want to, I need some milk. I need some milk. Can I have some milk, please? So I mentioned earlier, I didn't have any slime, right? Well, hey, what you doing, bud? Taraj. Taraj! Just don't knock me off, okay? <laughs> Can I hit you? There we go. Alright, but now I do. Now I do have slime. Yeah, look at that. Congealed slime block. And then it, that makes me slime balls. Pretty neat trick, huh? Now you can get as many slime balls as needed. And so I had gotten one uh, from a from a loot, a loot bag, I think it was. And uh, let's dump some of that stuff. And I got a little bit of lead ore and mist. All right, so that one is really cool. Now, if uh, if I were to do, where is, oh, it was right there. It was right there. All right, so let's do that, I think. Let's grab these back out. And is it this plus this? No, let's see here. Hold on, hold on. Oh, it's just one to one. Gotcha, gotcha, okay. Gotcha, not a problem. So let's do three, three of those. And then we will do one, two, three, and those, and those. Now I can make this and this. And let's put this over here. Let's take this and put it on top of here and my bucket please all right we will put that in there and can I get up there I would like to be able to get up there there we go see how it says it's transforming what's it transforming into well we will have to wait and see wait and see I will be right back then okay it's taking a really long time I set up a second barrel about six 7% behind, but it's taking a long time. But in the meantime, I want to try something out. I want to try something out. With this rotten flesh, I've got a lot of rotten flesh, right? I want to try this drying basin. So let's grab a missing one of these. Got lots of squid thanks to all the water around, and I need one more piece of iron. Getting kind of low. Got to get on my smelter. Got to get on that smelter, but I will get it. Oh, I got to get my logs. I'm going to try these mineral logs. I want to try these because it's from the same mod. So it should work, absolutely. Keep it in the pack. Now, it says you can just turn these guys. Oh, yeah. It's working. It's working. No, it's not twerking. And look at that. I now have, I guess I need an empty hand. Yeah. I get leather. How oh, cool. Can I put, nope, I can only put one at a time. All right. So we're go let's get ready. Let's get ready for this. We're going to want to... Oh, let's see. We'll put this down for right now. I made myself a wooden chest transporter. Very simple. I'm going to put that right there. And it breaks after first use, as to be expected. And then we'll do that. And we'll put oops, that and that. Now, those will fill up with lava. Uh, oh, hi. Got, got free? Yeah, that happens. That happens. I just needed more for this. I wonder if I can pick this up with my leather. Yes, excellent. So we could also automate that, but I just want a few pieces of leather. I don't really have a need right now, but just in case. So anyway, this will fill up with lava or a couple, right? Dump its lava into here. And so I roughly have 14, 
15, 14 and a quarter um, buckets. So really cool. So that's going to run through all of that, which I'm perfectly fine. And frankly, I can move this over there and just use the cobble gen as well. But we want to get through our smelter first so that we can get more iron so that we can upgrade that to make a, oh my God, so many fun things to do. So many things to do. Okay, I'm going to cut again. I'm going to make myself a smelter. I'm thinking about doing it right over here. That's what I'm going to do. All right, be back. Oh yeah, aluminum brass. So I threw three parts aluminum in there, one part copper, and it is now um, melting down. We're going to make some ingot casts. So if you don't know the seared gauge let me show you seared gauge is the there's a seared window which takes six seared bricks and this only takes four to do so what i've done is i've made this seared glass for oh you know what i made seared gauge hey i didn't i want meant to make the seared glass but i made seared gauge instead well it's just a little more glass and i have tons of glass because i have sand right but it's the same amount of seared brick either way um it is uh it is very cheap and or cheaper to make the seared gauge for the two stacks of bricks i only got you know one drain two faucets a table and a basin a controller and seared tank and then a few more of these right it's it's really the limiting factor but we can do something about that i just need these guys to they coming together yes they are they're working the, working their way down that's the new change okay so these guys are done these guys are done but what you might be asking what did i want the fire water for well notice that this is 3x well let me show you another use oh hold on, hold on. let me show you another use just one piece of redstone another use of this is this here all right so now what i can do is i can come under here and grab this source block right there and i can put that in there and oh you know what i'm gonna have to go down one aren't i yeah 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 let's grab that oh and i lost everything all right let me clean this up all right take two uh, if at first you don't succeed try and try again right Okay, now that's good. I pulled the other lava out of there. And so I wanted to show you, I'm gonna grab a piece of flint and of course a piece of iron. We all know what's coming. That and that and that. And so let's light this. All right, so it that was 2X, right? Or 3X was it? Now this is 4X, which is all cool. Cool, fine and dandy, okay? Um, yeah, and that melts, that's gonna melt it a little bit more. Um, but we don't want that. We don't want that. So let us we'll go ahead and add that there. So that now should be all self-contained in here. Okay. There. Get out of there. Okay. Now, of course, we're going to need that out of there. Okay. So what is this fire water for? So remember, we're 3x, 4x, torch is 1x, and... Oh, we got to bring this up one. got to bring it up one. What are you thinking? What are you thinking, Chokester? There we go. All right, so we can bring that guy up one and we'll put one in there and look at that 8x. Of course, if it's flowing, it's 7x, but that's fine. We made a second one here, so we don't have to have it flowing. There we go. Now we have 8x. So 1x with the torch, 3x with lava, 4x with netherrack, 8x with fire water. Okay, so that's pretty cool stuff. So that made the fire water in there. All right, look how much faster that's going. And we're all the way up to 26 buckets. Okay, the other thing is I automated this really, really simply, right? So I made the drying basin. I put a transfer node right here. Just put a block down, put this on the side, and let me show you what it does. So if I were to put in here, remember, this is an inventory. I don't have to have it on a chest or anything. So if I just put that in there, it sucks it in here. And then I just put another one over here that just sucks it out. And we'll watch it here. It sucks it out, adds a new one in. Poor man's way of automating. All right, very, very cool. So let me check the time, I'll be all right. Okay, we got a little bit of time, so we're gonna do one more thing. I want, actually, technically, I only need one of these. Fluid transfer note, I want my tank. I just made myself an ingot cast, and I have a whole bunch more of uh, molten aluminum brass that I wanna get out of there. So what if, what if I were to take my tank, let's get some of this stuff out of the way here out of the way and put this down and we're gonna eventually need that so what if we were to put that down there what if we were to put that on there <gasps> Ooh. is that pulling out iron i think it's pulling out the right stuff i hope i hope it was on the bottom so it should be okay okay now will that work no that's not what i wanted i wanted this guy 
I wanted this guy. Oh, you're killing me. There it goes. There it goes. So all it did, it, it put, it, it's going to fill that up, and then it's going to fill this up. Good, good, good. It's going. So that's perfect. And of course, it won't go into the into log tank. So were I to be a smart person, I would have pulled this out first. But that's fine, because now it can't go in anymore. So now it is dumping all of that out. And why? Why do I care? Why do I want to dump it out? I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to do what I've done in multiple other series. And it should be all dumped out with the exception of this. And I can run that through again. But what I should be able to do, yeah, that does work. That does work. And so what I can do is I can have another casting table underneath here and be able to cast my any, any parts I want. So just with this filled up, you don't need to pour this stuff out of a casting basin. You can actually put that anywhere you want. So if I were to put it right there, and I were to put that on there, and let's say I want it... Oh, Oh, I hate this. I need a, I, <laughs> see ya. I need a floor. I need, you know what? You know what? You know what this says? Build a second layer. It says that before you make obsidian, which we've done, it says make a tinker smelter. It says it do that second layer before because it knew. It knew. <sighs> well, all right. So you get the point. I don't have any more of the seared brick right now, but I have a whole bunch of cobble with me. And that's because I can throw that in, and that will create the um, extra seared brick for me. And then I don't have to worry about sand and gravel and clay and all that obnoxious stuff. Let this tinker or this tinker smelter do its work. And I might actually relocate this over here so I can generate some uh, some lava in there. But we'll make a new tank, and I was going to show you that you can just set this. Um, ingot cast down and you can pour ingots out of here and do do whatever right and so we can set our uh, we can make our tinkers um, casts and stuff out of that because um, we'll need to make better items for this you know we, we need to make uh, better stuff so anyway that's pretty cool all right guys well we have covered so many cool stuff in here there's a lot of tricks i have been watching other videos i pulled some of the the new stuff you know some of the stuff from other people some of the stuff i have i have uh, done in the past right Ooh, slime boots and uh, of course spent a lot of time offline i i'm i'm you know once a day videos i want to play more i want to play more so that's why this video is extra long and uh thanks for bearing with me guys and hopefully you guys are enjoying the series if so um leave a like and if you're new to the series i appreciate a subscribe we just hit one 300 subscribers guys thank you so much from the bottom of my heart googly eyes and all Thank you very much, guys. Seriously. Thank you so much for all the support you've given me. This is amazing. Amazing. So anyway, guys. All right. Enough sappiness. Get out of here. Let's get out of here. Go home. Watch another video. Take it easy. See you tomorrow. Bye.